，乱世心，浮沉中生死无际，命运百般如戏。梦境里，谁人影？斜阳落空，收回忆，相思何处忘记？Li Hua, I really wanted to confront Liao Shou when when he made Lady Guo his empress. Then after that, what? I'd do what any brother would do: take you back to Xinye. I'm ashamed to go back home. Don't worry about that. You can stay at my place. Liao Shou's a piece of trash. He is so ungrateful. Uncle is still fighting for him in the west. Listen. I'll ask him to lead the army back and surround Luoyang instead. I can't wait to see their faces. Let's see those insane? idiots. Are you insane? Do you even hear what you're saying? I warned you. Never say that again. Please don't be angry. I finally let it go. I came back to Luoyang because I still cared. I'm over it. What others would think if I stay or go, I don't care anymore. The imperial court's filled with factional conflict. I'm out of there. Isn't that good? Li Hua, tell me, what are you planning to do? Liu Shou promised to be with me, even if he became a beggar. Now I left him. I have to go be a beggar alone. What are you talking about, sister? Don't you have me to be with you? That is the reason I came here. Who knows where you would have gone if I hadn't run into you? I know that. You will take me in no matter what happens. Sister, stay here as long as you want. I'm here for you. Everything will be fine. And sister, when Uncle Deng Yu comes back, uh, you can leave Liu Shu and marry him instead. You're talking nonsense. Who would marry someone rejected by the emperor? Sister, you're the one leaving the palace, not him. Besides, Uncle Dongfeng loves you so much. He doesn't fear Liu. All right, stop. You're spewing nonsense. I've decided. I'll stay here for a while. Hmm. Mother, everything seems to be normal. In imperial court, His Majesty tells the ministers that my sister is mild and generous, and. She gave up being empress because she still couldn't bear a child. I guess His Majesty is still waiting for my sister. Your sister is stubborn. No one can convince But her. But His Majesty went too far this time. How can my sister bear it? Yinxing, dear. How could you get mad at the Emperor? You know he really loves your sister. We've seen it so many times. I sensed something was wrong when I heard from Fang the other day. You heard from him? What did he say? He said Li Hua would stay at his place for a few days. Thank goodness for that. I'm so worried. I couldn't sleep at night. Mother, please allow me to take her home. It doesn't matter. She won't come back. She does not want Liu Shu to know where she is. She doesn't want to put her family in more trouble. Mother, let her live with the Dungs for a while. I think she needs more time to process what happened. Sister. 
What is it? Sister, you're an expert in the art of war. I need you to help me. I'm having a hard time. I used to be. Look at me now, Tong Fang. It's hard for me to even walk. How can I help you? Still, you were the famous General Yin Ji. Now come on, sister. Just take a look at it, please. complete mess. They're too busy to mine Nanyang province. And it's now in turmoil. Nanyang is unstable. You want to train them? Yes, I do. Sister, do you remember a former general from Shiyang named Dongxin? Mm -hmm. Well, Dongxin is here. He brought along some soldiers and a horde of recruits as well. I want to have my own army for self-defense. You want to find me something to do, right? <laughs> no, I'm not. I just know that my army is going to be the best. If they have the best, to train them how to fight. <laughs> Since Li Hua is helping young Master Tung train soldiers, I believe I should go to Yu Yang. My sister's doing all right in Yu Yang. Why do you have to go? Young Master, we both know that she is not well. And now she is training soldiers. She needs someone to look after her. I won't be able to do that in Luyang, and I feel so guilty. Yuyang is not the Imperial Palace. Besides, Tang Fang is there. Maybe my sister is already the boss in Yuyang now. Don't worry. There will be servants for her. But I think Hope that... On. Don't blame yourself for what happened in Luyang. You finally have time for yourself. You have your own life, too. I think it's high time to think about us. Young Master... I'm sorry, I have to leave. Hobo, you always walk away when I talk about serious matters. Let's talk about this. What... What do you want to talk about? Come here. I'm not going to bite you. Come closer. You can't avoid this. You should give it some thought, Hopa. But I... Mother. Lady Tang. I was just leaving my lady. What brings you here? What were you two talking about? <sighs> Nothing, Mother. Just talking about random things. My son, I know what's on your mind. If you want Hupa to be with you, you know you have to get a wife first. After that, you can make her your concubine. Mother, that's not fair to Hupa. I can't make her a concubine. The girl is but a servant. Mother, never in my life did I ever treat her like a servant. Why are you always so stubborn? You're just like your sister, Li Hua. Don't be angry, Mother. You're not a child anymore. We can't put this off any longer. Tang Feng is engaged to a formidable lady. So hurry up and find a suitable wife. Choose well, then you can marry Hupo right away. All right, dismissed. That was very impressive. It's only been two months, and our soldiers have improved a lot. It's like they've been training for years. In battle, you consider terrain, climate, and people support. There's also command and other elements. You should never let down your guard. The battlefield is no easy place. Right. Mm. I heard that His Majesty defeated the enemy on the bank of the Yellow River by means of a flood. 50,000 men surrendered there and then. His Majesty joined the battle? Wait, there are so many soldiers in the Imperial government. They don't need to do much to win the battle. What about Luoyang? Everything is all right. 
His Majesty is fine, but it is said that General Tong Yu was defeated in Chang'an. That's nonsense. My uncle Tong Yu is great. He's unbeatable. It must be his tactic. Don't believe everything you hear. We just finished the battle here. The West Line is in crisis. Didn't Feng Yi go with them? This is from Feng Yi. Even he can't hold out anymore. We can't imagine its gravity. Too fierce even for the best warrior. Comrades, we have more battles to fight. Your Majesty, a message from Luoyang, Dongxin and Nanyang, rose in revolt. What? Wanchang City is in danger. Please send reinforcement. No, we have relatives living in Nanyang. Your Majesty, I'm willing to go there myself to suppress the rebellion in Nanyang. Your Majesty, it's more urgent in the West Line. Dong Tsin doesn't have many soldiers. I can defeat that man with only one battalion. All right. You are from Nanyang and you're familiar with it. I'll appoint you to suppress the revolt. Remember, you have to make it quick. Yes, General. The rest of you will join me to the West Line to support Dong Yu. We will leave tomorrow morning. Yes, yes General! General! Liu Xiu is fighting on many fronts. How could Dong Xin make trouble now? Oh, sister. Stop worrying about him already. It's not your business to do so. Think about this. Many have relatives in Nanyang. Liu Xiu must save it quickly. Nanyang must be saved no matter what. I guess he will send troops here in a couple of days. <laughs> sister, try to take it easy. Dong Xin won't dare come to Yu Yang. Even he knows better. People from Liu and Tong families are still in Nanyang. Dongxin is rebelling against the government, so I don't think he'll harm civilians. Sister, don't trouble yourself. Let's go out for a walk. I can't. I better rest. Sister, there is Li Village just outside Yuyang. You should go there with me. I can introduce you to someone you would be happy to know. Who? Then it wouldn't be a surprise. Who is it? <laughs> Sister, you forget that I turned 20 last year. You were engaged? Congratulations! <laughs> That's precisely the reason I want to take you there. You are going to get married. Let's go. I want to meet her. All right. <laughs> Someone really wants to marry you? What are you talking about? What are you trying to imply? <laughs> Just a warning. Try your best not to abuse her. <laughs> How could I? Better warn her not to bully me instead. You see, she's not an average girl. She's just like you. Why do you say that? Is it bad to be like me? <laughs> I'm not a normal woman. <laughs> no, I like the way she is. She's outgoing and smart. Like you, she always speaks her mind. I used to tell her stories about your time in battle. Because of that, she learned martial arts, as well as military tactics. Why martial arts? So she can beat you in a fight? There is no way she can beat me, no matter how hard she practices. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you two are a great match. One leads while the other trains soldiers. Sounds great. You'll understand when you see her. Just wait, you two will get along. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Men! Go check what's over there. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Reporting, General. What's the matter? Is it the Han army rebels fighting against another? The Han army passed through and ransacked the whole city. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Neon! 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 Neon, what happened to you? Oh, my poor daughter. Neon, wake up! What happened to her? Tell me, who did this? Who did this to her? I will kill them! Tell Wuhan was here. He was sent to suppress the rebels. His men claimed that there were mobs here in Nanyang. Wancheng City was captured. But Wuhan made his soldiers do more. They burned Nanyang and killed people in their way. My poor daughter was killed! <laughs> Wuhan? But you're not mobs! There are no mobs here! Why would he do this? They're monsters! All of them are! They have no respect for people's lives! And you, this is your fault too! You encouraged my nyan to learn martial arts and to fight! She got killed trying to save the women! She could have just hidden! I want my daughter back! Bring my daughter back! Bring my daughter back! <laughs> my poor daughter is gone! <laughs> oh, my poor daughter! Wuhan! Wuhan! Wuhan, I will kill you! Oh, no! <gasps> Are you all right? <laughs> My lady, you're awake. Please be careful, slowly. Oh, Bo. What are you doing here? General Wu did something terrible. Nanyang County is destroyed. Locals from Yuyang are fleeing to the south, fearing for their lives. Master was worried, so he asked me to come. Where's Nian's father? Sorry, but he didn't make it. Where's Tung Feng? Uh, he said that uh, he, he would be back soon. No. Where did he go? He said that... Tell me! Master Tung gathered followers from the Tung family, and some guardians around Nanyang, and soldiers too. They went to Wuhan's barracks. That's a revolt! I have to stop him! My lady, please calm down. You've only just woken up. Besides, it's too late. You were unconscious for two days. I'm here under His Majesty's order. Go and tell him that the battle is done. We have no more business here. And then ask him to go home. Yes, General. Go. <laughs> General Wu as General Dang. <laughs> Tang Fang, are you insane? Wuhan, I'm here to avenge the people slaughtered by your men. Has rebelled? Deng Feng settled the situation in Nanyang. After defeating Wu Han, he won the support of the locals. General, the rebels near Nanyang joined him. Yan Chen, Dong Xin, and Qin Feng have also joined him. Their influence is increasing. What about Wu Han? Wu Han was injured, and he fled to meet Gai Yan. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have appointed Wu Han! Your Majesty, what's done is done, but you must settle the issue at Nanyang. Go tell Jia Fu to dispatch troops nearby. Stop the rebellion right away. Remember, try not to be rough on them. Yes. <laughs> Do you even know what you're doing? It's basically a revolt. Yes, I know. Wuhan slaughtered so many people. And I will make him pay for it! 
I have driven him out of Nanyang. But I will not stop hunting him down until I end his life! An eye for an eye, I swear! He's Yujo's brave iron cavalry, isn't he? Then good! I am going to show him that Nanyang's soldiers are just as brave! I'll protect my people by all means! I won't let him lay a hand on any of them again! Will you calm down for a minute? <laughs> Li Hua... You really want me to calm down? He killed my wife-to-be! I'll even the score. I'll avenge them. He's here to stop the rebellion. Well, fine. I'll get Dongxin on my side! Dong Feng, how could you think of siding up with the rebels? Li Hua, look at me. Look at me. I am standing right in front of you. You do know that I am against His Majesty and his reign. I am against him, but I did not do anything. Wuhan and Liosho are guilty. Their hands are covered in blood. Li Hua, you convinced me to support Liosho before. I did what you asked me to. You said he'd stop the chaos. You said he'd bring peace. What did he do? Huh? I don't see peace! We can't even defend our own hometown! How could he put up with Wuhan looting and destroying what's ours? Why do we let him do this to our people? I have had enough! Dong Feng! Your Majesty! Dong Chan. Get up, what are you doing? Stand up! Come. Stand. Dong Feng is my nephew. Yes, I know. This is all my fault. I know... He only reacted on impulse. I'm afraid... He might continue. To keep acting like this. Don't worry about it. Maybe things are not as serious as you think. I heard that Li Hua went to him a while ago. I'm sure Dong Feng will listen to her, and he will stop making more trouble. Let us hope so. The bond of the Deng and Yin families is strengthened through marriage. <laughs> Let's wait for the show to begin. His Majesty was furious. He can barely clean up the mess that's been made. He needs to clean up the mess he caused, whether he likes it or not. His Majesty greatly favors those two families. But then again, they obviously let him down. This time, he will learn things the hard way. My son, when Liu Shou comes back, gather up officials to plead for Wu Han's life and make a complaint against the Yin family. Accuse them of conspiracy. Let's see if Yin Li Hua has the nerve to show her face here again. I'm not sure about that. What if the Yins decide to make up for it and bring Yin Li Hua back? I'm afraid that- Your Highness. What did the doctor say? He said Shu Zhanzi is expecting a child. Get them to give her something. To get rid of that thing. Hold on. I have an idea. We should keep them in the palace. In case Liu Shu can't forget Yin Li Wa and decide to bring her back. Shu Yanxi and her child might come in handy for us. Keep the information to yourself. We'll tell His Majesty later. Chu Yangzi hopes to see the young master. Please. What a thick-faced flu 
crazy. You seduced his majesty. Now you're trying to seduce young master? How dare you do that? <laughs> master. This is about the royal baby. In private, please. Others are not allowed to hear it. Especially maids. You... Ying Lo. Leave us now. Young master. I said go. Yes. the royal baby stay here for a little longer in no time you'll be living a luxurious life <laughs> Royal baby? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? Master, do you know whose child this is? It's yours. <laughs> I'm warning you. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and how can you be so sure that it is mine and not his majesty's? Any proof? Does the baby have my name scrawled across his face? <laughs> Ridiculous. I didn't sleep with his majesty that night. What did you say? Master. I'm yours since the day you bought me. I'm yours alone. Nobody else owns me. I'm yours from head to toe. No one else can touch me. Master, I'll never be with another man. Only you. Take me with you. Master. I belong to you. Listen, only you can have all of me. <laughs> How can you say you only belong to me when I know what kind of girl you are? Lose, woman! Don't! What did you say? Yanzi's child could possibly be my nephew or niece? Mm. That's what I said. How did my brother react when he heard this? Your brother? He just left without a word. Mother. What should we do now? I already knew it. Your brother frequents brothels left and right. He knows how to deal. With those kinds of women. Mother, I have an idea. We can convince His Majesty to give her a title. Shu Yanji shall henceforth be known as Beauty Shu. She can help me deal with Yin Li Hua when His Majesty brings her back. No! Besides, my nephew can have a good life here. Master, you were a cruel man. You have a deal with Dongshen? Yes. All that's left in Nanyang is Wan Chong. If we manage to seize it, we will have a strong foothold. Everything will be easier then. 
General Jiang Shen of Wancheng is fearless. He's good at defense, so don't be rash. So what? Dong Shen is with me, and Qin Feng too. They are bandits with no formal training, remember? You can't go far driven by hatred alone. I have the soldiers that you trained by my side. We defeated Wuhan, didn't we? That's because you attacked by surprise. Since you were so confident, tell me. If you get Wan Chung, then what's next? You will rebel and claim the throne? Silence! <laughs> That's enough. I have decided. I know you're still in love with Liu Xiao. And you don't want to turn against your former comrades. Tong Feng, have you ever thought how you're going to end what you started? I don't care. I will bring justice to the people they killed. If I don't get to take Wan Chung, I'll have enemies left and right when Liu Xiao's army is here. Then you'll be at risk, Li Hua. You may go. And where will I go? Back to Xinye. I'm not doing that. Tong Feng. Sorry for slapping you the other day. I was wrong. I shouldn't have hit my former comrade. But you are family too. As your sister, I can't let you make more mistakes. So please, trust me on this. Dang Feng, you shameless fool! I'm out here risking my own life, while you're rebelling in Nanyang! Interior Minister! What is it? Our provisions are down to three days. If this continues, we will break down before the Chime army attacks. We have to win the war as soon as possible and go back to Luoyang. But His Majesty ordered to play it safe and wait for the supplies. Forget about that! There's no time to play safe! We will lose if we waste time! Pass my order. Tell everyone and prepare to break through tonight. We will win this fight! Yes, sir. Report! Your Majesty, we lost in the West Battle Line. Three days ago, Great Interior Minister fought the Chime Army at night. Our army fled after defeat. The Chime Army then looted and seized the city. Great Minister tried to recapture Chang'an, but the enemy had support. They were stronger than us. We lost and almost got wiped out. Terribly defeated. <sighs> what is the latest report? Great Minister retreated to Yunyang. They're capped there awaiting your instructions. <sighs> Call Dong Yu back. To come back to Luoyang with all the soldiers. He cannot lead anymore. Dispatch Feng Yi immediately. Have him replace Dong Yu. Yes, Your Majesty. Though Tong Yu isn't good at military tactics, he figured out some. Why did he attack so rashly? That was risky. He was concerned about us in Nanyang. He knew he couldn't lose. He allowed anxiety to cloud his judgment. How is it in Wan Chong? I must say you're right. Chan Shen is hard to defeat. After so long, we still can't take it. Tong Feng, give it up. Li Hua, please say no more. Just like Uncle Dong Yu, I have a goal, and it's to win. This is my fault, Great Minister. I missed the opportunity. So we lost. I feel sorry for civilians in Chang'an. And I've let His Majesty down. Great Minister, General Feng Yi brings reinforcements. 
Gongsu. You were in big trouble. What did His Majesty say? Did he send you here to... I am here to take over your army. He wants you back immediately. Tang Yu. It's common to lose a battle. His Majesty isn't blaming you. He just wants the remaining troops to get back safely. Gongsun. We've known each other for years. Could you please do me a favor? Let me fight one more time. But you're exhausted. You should stop fighting. His Majesty warned me about it. I can't go back like this. Dongfang is in Nanyang and... His Majesty appointed Zhu Yu and others to take care How of it. How can he do such a thing? I have to win the battle. I can't leave. Now that you're here, we can fight together. I am sure we can win this time. Let's fight one more time. Gongsun, I'm at your feet now. I'm begging you. You know the factions in court are relevant to the outcome of the battles in the West Line and over to the situation in Nanyang as well. If I can't win this battle, I have no reason to save Dangfang. Gongsun, please let me. Please let me fight one more time. So this is his reply. He resigned from his post because he was completely defeated. Where is Deng Yu now? Great minister said he was too ashamed to see your majesty, so he headed back to Nanyang. Listen. Issue an edict. I approve Deng Yu's resignation, but he may keep his title. Your majesty, what should we do now? We'll take the whole army to the east battle line. We'll fight the Chimei army before they return to the east. Inform Feng Yi to prepare for joint attack. We'll destroy Chimei. Yes. yes! It is said that this river turned red when Pa Sheng fought Sun Peng in Wancheng. Can you imagine? It just happened again. I think we're lucky not to face Sun Peng this time. He and Bo Sheng fought to a draw before. Sun Peng is a skilled warrior. I hope he won't come to Wan Chang. Liu Xiu values Sun Peng. He's fighting in the east and the north. He won't come to Nanyang. My lady. Tell us. His Majesty has appointed Chen Peng as the senior general to conquer the South, my lady. He's coming to Nanyang with the others, Generals Gong Yan, Zhu Yu, and Wang Cheng. Why is he sending so many generals here? What about the West Line? His Majesty went to join General Fang Yi in the West Line. It makes sense for Zhu Yu and Wang Cheng. But why Sun Peng? Well, their target seems to be Dong Xin. The army is heading to Duyang. Do you think they will target us after they manage to take Duyang? Tang Feng, half of the generals are from Nanyang district. We fought together in Kunyang. Please stop. Young master, since His Majesty has sent troops here, why not surrender when their troops arrive in Yuyang? His Majesty will forgive you with all generosity after he hears what happened. I did nothing wrong. It was Wuhan's fault. Why should I surrender at all? Yes. You had a reason in the beginning. But it's been half a year since then, and you're still attacking. Lots of our men have died. Tang Feng, please withdraw your troops. Li Hua. Do you believe they'll pardon me if I stop now? Liu Shou might spare me. What about Wu Han? Do you think he'll let me live? Whatever I do, I will be put to death anyway. Do not worry. I will protect you. Li Hua. I won't attack Wan Cheng, for your sake alone. Let's go back to Yuyang. 
But since I've already gone this far, if I stop, I will die. Get that out of your head, Tang Feng. Don't say that again. My lady, you're going to the Han Barracks. Will it help? I have to stop them from fighting Dong Feng, or else there's no turning back. There! Zhu Yong! Lady Yin, what brings you here? Please don't start the war. Otherwise, there will be no turning back for Dong Feng. The whole situation is a mess. There's war everywhere. His Majesty's bothered. What are you trying to do? I couldn't stop Dong Feng. Wuhan went too far. You're from Nanyang. If you were there, I know you'd do the same. I understand you, but will this end well? That's what I'm here for. He is back in Yuyang. I need you to stop Sun Peng and Feng Yan. Tang Peng and Gan Yang are strict and difficult to deal with. Lady Yin. General Chen, His Majesty told us to handle it properly. A calm resolution is our priority. I know we can do that. My lady, we heard what you just said. His Majesty did say that peace is our priority, but he was referring to the commoners. Deng Feng rose in revolt, fought our men, attacked Wan Cheng, and started a war. People in Nanyang suffered. Now he must surrender. Wu Hun started it all. Deng Feng didn't start it. He attacked Wan Cheng with Dong Xin. That's after he beat Wuhan. How will you explain that? My lady, for Deng Feng's own good, you'd better convince him to surrender. Come back to Luoyang and face the consequences. There is no other solution. The battle went on too long. Many perished. If he gets away with it, it would be unfair to those who died. My lady, your stand is questionable because your connection with the rebel is putting his majesty in an awkward position. He's right. My lady, I wouldn't go back if I were you. Otherwise, conniving with an Tung outlaw is... Are you ordering me to stay? Report, General! General, Dong Feng is raiding us!